Assalamu alaikum to all. I'm Iklima Husna Abdurrahim and my team members are as stated, Dr. Zulkifli and Dr. Anis Amira. The title of our business idea innovation is The View of Feminist Theory on Women Entrepreneurship. When we see this word, women, we will refer them as sisters, mothers, ladies, girls, wives, or even adult females. And we also know their roles in our society, which is doing household chores like making food, cleaning the house, taking care of children, while men are usually expected to be working or earning money. This is what we call as the tradition social role of women and men. This tradition has remained unchanged for many years. But in the last two decades, along with the deepening social and economic changes, the social role of women began to undergo vivid modifications. An increasing numbers of women can be observed in the labor market. The proportion of women who have majored in business, medicine and law has risen significantly. Women have entered into male-dominated roles such as leadership roles, including in politics. Women also have entered into male-dominated career, that is, entrepreneurship. We call them as women entrepreneurs. In recent years, women entrepreneurs represent the fastest growing category of entrepreneurship worldwide. They can make a significant contribution to entrepreneurial activity and economic development in terms of creating new jobs increasing the gross domestic product with positive impact on reducing poverty and social exclusion. However, according to Global Entrepreneurship Monitor, the percentage of women who decide to pursue an entrepreneurial career is lower than that of men. Why would this happen? Among the reasons are male-centered vision, gender stereotypes, and social roles that are culturally assigned to men and women. These reasons could explain discriminatory barriers and systematic prejudice faced by women in entrepreneurship that result in lower percentage of women to venture in entrepreneurship than men. These discriminatory barriers and systematic prejudice that faced by women entrepreneurs are poor access to resources, such as limited access to finance, lack of education, and lack of experience opportunities. So how can we help women entrepreneurs to overcome the discriminatory barrier and systematic prejudice. The idea is by applying the perspective of liberal feminist theory, or we can call it as LFT. LFT is one of the approaches that can be used to fix this issue. According to this LFT, it is the society that believes women are less capable less intellectual, less skilled, and many more than men. And due to this belief, women are discriminated from getting the resources, education, and experience. So how can liberal feminist theory solve the problem faced by women entrepreneurs? Number one, the fundamental basis of liberal feminist theory, or we call it as LFT, assumes that men and women are equal, and gender is not the basis for individual rights. So based on this perspective, women entrepreneurs should not be discriminated because of the gender, as individual right is not depend on whether someone is men or women. Added that, women should be treated equally as men. Number two, 
LFT argue for the necessity of social reform in order to give women the same status and opportunities as men. Based on this perspective, we need social reform to ensure women entrepreneurs get vital resources, business education, and experience as men. Added that women entrepreneurs can be successful like men if they get the same resources. Number three, LFT suggests that both discrimination and the more insidious form rooted in tradition must be identified and eliminated. For instance, the tendency for women to be encouraged to take less practical types of education and to enter jobs that required fewer technical skill. These examples will diminish their opportunities in entrepreneurship. So based on this perspective, we must eliminate this kind of traditions that rooted in our society so that women entrepreneurs can get similar opportunities as men to pursue their careers in entrepreneurship. Hence, the idea of using liberal feminist theory to overcome the problems that faced by women entrepreneurs is a useful approach as it can spark some solution. In addition, if women are given equal access to the opportunities available to men, such as education, work experience, and other resources, they would equally grow their business. In conclusion, this idea may create awareness among society and resource provider that women entrepreneurs as men are capable to venture in business with necessary resources provided. This idea also could assist academic and government in gaining relevant knowledge and facilitate the condition of women in business. That's all from me. Thank you.